Hey everybody and welcome to Internet Nails. My name is Simone and this is George and this is where we watch movies and television. All right. Uh, 12 Angry Men. Yes. From 1957. Yes. Life is in their hands. Death is on their minds. Jesus. It explodes like 12 stick of dynamite. What? That's an I, intense tagline. That really I is. Love it. Um, also, so yellow. <laughs> the poster. Oh, the poster. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I guess, yeah, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, that's just so random um, and unhelpful. Uh, but yeah, the, the poster is very yellow. Henry Fonda. Yeah. I know nothing about know. this movie, so I'm just like <laughs> learning <laughs> right now. Is that like Jane Fonda's father? I think Hun? it is, yeah. I'm pretty right? sure. Okay. Yeah. So there's a dagger running th right down through the middle. Wait. You're stabbing the 12th yeah is it are they gonna kill each other i feel so stupid like people who have like seen this movie are like probably like it's so obvious it's like right there and i'm like <laughs> i don't i don't get it man i don't know it could be it could be anything i mean 12 angry men could could be most tarantino movies <laughs> <laughs> um okay okay whatever let's just find out yeah let's just watch it yes before i press play please like and subscribe Administration of justice in the firmest pill. Oh. It's interesting to see an old movie that doesn't start with titles. Mm, you're right. Oh, oh, it's a courtroom and a, a jury, maybe. The 12 Angry Men. Makes sense. A premeditated murder is the most serious charge. If there's a reasonable doubt in your minds as to the guilt of the mm. accused, your verdict must be unanimous. The death sentence is mandatory in this case. Okay. The tagline makes perfect sense now. Yeah. The jury will now retire. Whoa, is that the defendant? Well, that's such a quick and great setup. Yeah. 12 guys have to decide the fate of a person, and that person is a child. Okay. Ed Begley. Is that like okay. Ed Begley Jr.'s father? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's... Or is it Bagley? <laughs> Not Begley. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who it is, but the fact <laughs> that one of them is called Junior, I think that answers no, that. No, I, I don't know if the last name is spelled the same. But... Okay. <laughs> Great job at setting the tone. Like I asked why there was no, there's no titles. I thought it was weird there's no, no titles at the beginning. Mm -hmm. This like this is why because it's like yeah, it's more important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a, such a good excuse for space to put the titles. Yeah, to let you observe Every the guys and watch them and see. Yeah, it's very very cool. So it's hot and the fan doesn't work. Uh, it's twelve sweaty men. <laughs> I have a very naive question for the viewers. This is going to be the hottest day of the year. Oh, that's oh. unfortunate. Uh, my naive question is that, was there a period of time before, like, was this movie before women were allowed to be in a jury? Oh. And that's why it's 12 men? Mm. It was pretty interesting. Yeah, I almost fell asleep. It gets me the way those lawyers talk and talk and talk. I'd slap those tough kids down before they stopped me. Okay. So we know that one guy already has... A decision. Yeah, and he just wants to get out of here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the guy with the hat kind of looks like a salesman. Like his clothes looks. Mm. Yeah. No real dead spots. You know what I mean? <laughs> when your horn works, I try your lights. Well, the guy stole the bathroom. I run a messenger service, the Beck and Call Company. Let's uh, take our seats, huh? I happen to have tickets to that ball game tonight. Yanks and Cleveland. You're a real baseball fan, aren't you? Huh? Okay, he's definitely the loud, showy one. Mm. I mean, his outfits. Yeah. yeah. It's reasonable to sit in order. Let it be. Say, uh, we like to get started. Kid kills his father, Bing, just like <gasps> all this. Interesting. Whoa. I already have my own, like, pre, like, like, I mean, received judgment. Like, this is the. Very you weren't even there at the trial. I know. Yeah, you I already have it. this. Yeah. Like, I, I oh my god. Waiting. Handle this thing any way that you want to. I'm not going to make any rules. I think it's customary to take a preliminary vote. Now, all those voting guilty, please raise your hands. Okay. How many? One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh. Just one guy. Okay. That's wow. 11. But there was like guilty. two or three that were like hesitant until everyone else. Yeah. Like. Okay. One okay. Movie could end the year. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are we doing now? I guess we talk. Everyone hates him. Already. 
He's 18 years old. Oh, he's not well, a kid then. Okay. 18 is still like, yeah. He, he looked like 14 to me, that's all. Oh, totally. Yeah. I just want to talk. Well, what's there to talk about? Do you believe his story? I don't know whether I believe it or not. Maybe I don't. It's not easy to send a boy off to die without talking about it. Wouldn't change my mind if you talked for 100 years. Look, what's the difference how long it takes? Ball game doesn't start till 8 o'clock. Yeah, it is someone's life. It is worth at least really considering all facts. I don't mm -hmm. know. I heard a pretty good story last night. That is not my Oh, jeez. <laughs> This kid's been kicked around all of his life. His father was serving a jail term for forgery. He's had a pretty miserable 18 years. He got a fair trial, didn't he? What do you think that trial caused? You're not going to tell me that we're supposed to believe this kid. I mean, they're born liars. Do you think you were born with a monopoly on the truth? Yeah. The product I work on at the agency. Uh -uh. It's just talking about other things. You know what's really interesting? We don't get to know what happened in the trial. No. We're just hearing what these men's interpretation oh, of everything they heard is. Mm -hmm. I have this habit of doodling. It seems to me that it's up to the group of us to convince this gentleman. I just think he's guilty. The burden of proof's on the prosecution. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody saw him do it. The old man lived downstairs under the room where the killing took place. And he heard the kid yell out, I'm going to kill you. Called the police. They came in, found the old man with a knife in his chest. That's very, like, directly summarized. It just, yeah. He claimed he was at the movies during the time of the killing. The woman across the street. She was the one who actually saw the killing. Oh. Here's a woman who's lying in bed. She can't sleep. Looks out the window and right across the street, she sees the kid stick the knife. Okay, that's very, yeah. Yeah, see, at the start of this, yeah, my assumption that, like, she saw him do it, it happened? But I'm like, mm. why did it happen? What if it was, like, self-defense or, like, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's one of them, too, isn't she? Ah, uh, when he said no dumb earlier, I just thought he meant kids, but okay. I I missed it. What talking it? about a type of people, ethnicity. I don't know why gotcha. he started to be conventional. Or is it people in the slums? Not necessarily. If you don't have a motive, where's your case, right? Didn't they say something about an argument between the old man and the son? And they heard the father hit the boy twice. I can't see two slaps in the face provoking him into committing murder. You can talk here forever, it's still the same thing. When he was 15, he was in reform school. He stole a car. Oh, yeah. They say he's real handy hmm. with a knife. His father beat him up regularly. He used his fist. Well, so would I. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to call my father, sir. You got any kids? Three. Wow. Just, like, different times, right? Like, yeah, where, yeah. where smacking your kid was just, like, the norm. <laughs> That's my childhood, too. <laughs> I said, I'm going to make a man out of you. And it was 16, we had a fight. Hit me in the jaw. I haven't seen him for two years. Slums are breeding grounds for criminals. I know it, and so do you. He grew up. Yeah. I lived in a slum all yeah. my life. Come on now, there's nothing personal oh, about now, there this. There was something oh, personal. Come on. Mm -hmm. You're one of the good ones, right? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let's stop the arguing. We're only wasting time. Stop being a kid, will ya? This guy's just antagonistic towards everybody. According to testimony, the boy looks guilty. Maybe he is. The defense counsel wasn't conducting a thorough enough cross-examination. It's also possible for a lawyer to be just plain stupid, isn't it? I'd want my lawyer to tear the prosecution witnesses to shreds. Those two witnesses were the entire case for the prosecution. They're only people. People make mistakes. Could they be hmm. wrong? People can also just lie, even if they're under oath. But also, like, subjective memory is, like, insane. That too. Yeah, absolutely. So, could you bring us the knife? Knife? Yeah. After being slapped, he said punch. He bought one of those... Uh, switch knives. Switchblade knives. It was the only one of its kind he had ever had in stock. He talked with his friends for about an hour, leaving them at 9.45. They identified the death weapon in court as that very same knife. He claims that he went to a movie. He also claims that the two detectives arrested him threw him down a half a flight of stairs. I think it's quite clear that the boy never went to the movies. He couldn't even remember the names of the pictures he saw. The boy stayed home, oh, wow. Just... had another fight with his father. It's not even in a bag. <laughs> you trying to tell me that this knife Really fell through a hole. Oh, it's the one on the poster, yeah. It's a very unusual knife. I've never seen one like it. Okay. Oh, and he has... <laughs> I walked through the boy's neighborhood. <laughs> it's against the law to buy or sell switchblade knives. That's right, I broke the law. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. You found another knife like it. What's that, the discovery of the age or something? Interesting that he'd find a knife exactly like the one the boy bought. That's some seed of doubt, yeah. yeah. You're not going to change anybody's mind. Well, well, why don't we just set up house here, huh? Oh, listen, I don't see what all this stuff about knife <laughs> has got to do with anything. The knife was very important to the district attorney. Yeah, it's like if... <laughs> If one of their things was like that, this knife is so unique, it's so important, and this is what it makes, like, makes a case. Yeah, and he just found one. Yeah, yeah. Then, like, that's... A... But the, someone literally saw him do it, though. That That is... So we, we'll have to see how he pokes hole in that. Yeah. If he does. Vote by secret written ballot. Ah. Out of stain. Well, yeah, because like I said, there was like 
three yeah, or four. Yeah, there was four. two that, we, that looked at others. Yeah, 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 yeah. If anyone votes not guilty, we stay here and talk it out. Because that definitely is a thing people do just to fit in, right? Oh, totally. It's a very natural it's instinct yeah, to just... Pressure. Yeah. Yeah. It's like everyone wants to leave. Even, if you're the one who's holding people up, you feel like, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also sometimes people just like subject themselves into the peer pressure. Mm. Like no one could be pressuring you, but you just don't want to stand out. It's only been half an hour. I love this movie. Guilty. Yeah, this is really cool. I expect like nine, one. Or, nine or ten. I love it. Every guilty. paper has a different handwriting, too. Mm. It's so cool. Not guilty. Guilty. Brother, you really are something. Why don't you drop a quarter in this collection box? What does he think he is? It doesn't matter. He... <sighs> oh. He didn't change his vote. I did. He just isn't sure. I respect his motives. I want to hear more. I have no right to leave this room. you. He never will. <laughs> wow. He can't hear you. He never will. I love it. It's just like the internet, essentially. <laughs> Woof. I'm a watchmaker. Oh, really? In an agency, when we reach a point like this, I'm telling about in an ad agency. When this guy just loves hearing himself oh talk. <laughs> I love the body language of, like, the watchmaker, yeah. though. Like, he's... They, they I, yeah. Sometimes precede their idea with a little phrase. Run it up the flagpole and see if anyone salutes it. Glad you're not one of those Leslie's emotional appeals influence him. He was the one with the son earlier, right? And the same attitude of it's never his fault. Hmm. <laughs> Are you a salesman? An architect. Made 27 grand last year selling marmalade. That's amazing. <laughs> That's pretty good today, <laughs> much less <laughs> in the 50s. But what are you wasting our time for? This kid is guilty, pal. Hmm. What difference does it make if you get it here at the ball game? Oi, what a murderous day. Yeah. Uh -huh. Should have been done already. <sighs> Supposing you were the one that was on trial. Yeah. Supposing you talk us all out of this, kid really did knife his father. Oh, I, yeah, having to live the rest of your life knowing that you condemn someone to die, guilty or not. It's, <laughs> hmm. I feel like that should be much harder to square over than hey, it is now, for a lot of these people. Let's get down mm -hmm. to business. Now, who wants to start it off? Well, I was wondering how clearly the old man could have heard the boy's voice through the ceiling. He across the street, she looked right in the open window and saw the boy stab his father. Six cars on the train, she saw the killing through the last two cars. Oh, that's different. Oh my oh. god. They're just playing tic-tac. <laughs> How long it takes an elevator train going at medium speed to pass a given point? 10, 12 seconds? Hmm. The given point is the open window of the room where the killing took place. Has anyone here ever lived near the L-Tracks? Well, uh... Yeah. When the window is open and the train goes by, the noise is almost unbearable. Let's take two pieces yeah. of testimony and try to put them together. He says he heard the boy say I'm... But if the train... Exactly. I, oh, I love this so much. Yeah. The train had been roaring by the old mm. man's window. Mm hmm Nobody can be that accurate. Testimony that could put a boy into the electric chair. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Why should he lie? Attention. Why don't you send him into a paper? They pay $3 a piece. You gotta have more respect, mister. Now you go ahead. You, you say anything you like. We're just talking about how kids have no respect. And <laughs> <laughs> Same if a jacket was split under the shoulder. He was a very old man in a torn jacket. Right. I think I know this man better than anyone here who has never had recognition. Nobody quotes him. That's a very sad thing to me, nothing. Perhaps he made himself believe he heard those words. Mm hmm What do you know about it? Oh. I think we proved that the old man couldn't have heard the boy say, I'm going to kill you. This phrase, how many times have all of us used it? Probably thousands. Doesn't mean yeah. we're gonna kill him. Wait a minute, what are you trying to give us? You really think the boy shot out a thing like that so the whole neighborhood could hear him? <laughs> he don't even speak good English. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Mr. so Coleman, good, I love it. I'd like to change my vote to not guilty. Okay. <sighs> what are you basing it on? Stories this guy made up? For quite a He's not making it up, but the fact that you can poke holes in it is... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, the kid had a lawyer, didn't he? He didn't want the case, or he, he resented being appointed. Mm-hmm. Totally. Just get it over with, yeah. Mm hmm Will you look at the time? Huh? Come on. Pardon me. This man has some very good points to make. Now, how was he caught by the police? Why would he come back home three hours later? Hmm. Hmm. That is an excellent point. Mm-hmm. The boy knew the knife could be identified as the one he had just bought. Why didn't he just grab it right away? Yeah. He finally calmed down. He realized he had left his knife there. He would have had to be calm enough to see to it that there were no fingerprints left. Right. Oh. Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives, and our merch link is in the description box below. And now, back to the movie. If I were the boy and I'd done the stabbing and everything, I'd take a chance and go back for the knife. I bet he figured nobody'd find the body the next day. 
She screamed. The boy certainly must have heard the scream. He may not have connected it with his own act. Maybe all of those things happened, but maybe they didn't. You know, didn't the old man see the kid running out of the house at 1210? Maybe what we need is a little yelling in here. These guys keep going off. That's just all yelling. <laughs> this guy. Should be called 11 angry men, one yelly man. <laughs> Two yelly men, actually. Yeah, so much time spent on meth. I vote uh, not guilty. Oh, what? Oh. Vote is eight to four, favor of guilty. Wow, okay. I want you to get up and tell me why you changed your vote. Now, what about this? That's not the knife. Don't you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I love the old man. He's so great. Yeah. Are we supposed to believe that he didn't get up and run to his door? Did the old man say he ran to the door? Hmm. He, he can't, can't run. Yeah. Mr. Foreman, I'd like to see a diagram of the apartment. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half the time he was confused. How could he be positive there you're about just, anything? Y- there exactly. You go, exactly. Man. <laughs> as soon as the body hit the floor, he said he heard footsteps. He got to his own front door as fast as he could, and he swore it couldn't have been more than 15 seconds. All right, here's the apartment where the killing took place. Wow. The old man was in this bedroom right here. It's 12 feet from the bed to the door. You think he could have done it? Sure, he could have done. What are you doing? I'm going to try it. See how long it took. You can recreate a thing like that. I would like to see it. This is absolutely insane. What are you wasting everybody's time in here for? Has anybody got to watch for the second hand? I have. <laughs> Look at how eager to please he is. <laughs> this is his first time as a juror. <laughs> yeah. Now. I love it. Come on. Yeah, right. What are we waiting for? Come on, speed it up. But like you, you get up slowly. Like if you're asleep. Yeah, if you're, old, yeah. Forty-one seconds. Uh, yeah. So even at twice the speed. Yeah. Somebody racing down the stairs and assumed it was the boy. What's the matter with you guys? Perhaps you'd like to pull the switch. For this kid, you better. Oh, it's personal for him. It's mm-hmm. his own family. You're a sadist. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> you <don't really> mean you. <laughs> <laughs> That's twice now that he's just like yeah. Shook. His own anger traps yeah. himself. It's so oh. good. What are you looking at? Mm-hmm. Wow. They all see it now. Yeah, it's personal for him. It's just some weird like. Well, that's the crazy thing about having juries i mean like that's why they have several people but like because your own bias is like Mm -hmm. it's incredibly powerful even if you're like trying to be aware of it or just like you have a bad day like that old guy that's sick he just wants to get out what are you so polite about for the same reason you're not it's the way it was brought up i've heard that before we have nothing to gain by our verdict it should not make it a personal thing let's throw it out on the stoop and see if the cat makes it up (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> His phrases. <laughs> boy, oh boy, it's really hot, huh? Don't you ever sweat? No, I don't. Super so, villain. <laughs> no, some people don't. One. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I can vote guilty. <laughs> The vote is now six to six. So at this point, aside six from the foreman, six. all the guilty are unlikable, and all the people who say not guilty are the likable ones. Yeah. Mm. Because, because they have empathy. The facts yeah. are supposed to determine the case. You keep shouting at the top of your lungs. That's nice hop in here, isn't it? Huh? Want to drink of water? Oh, you should drink some water. Water and sugar. The guy with the glasses here, is he the voice How of Piglet from Winnie the Pooh? I don't think I've ever watched any Winnie the Pooh. Oh, you're missing out, man. That That isn't yeah, making fun of think too much the Premier of China. <laughs> Everybody cools down a bit, calmer heads. Hmm. Or they have to close the windows and then it gets even stuffier. <laughs> the whole movie's just in two rooms. That's amazing. What a budget save. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of a storm we had last, it was in November, uh, we were behind. We had this kid slattery, you know, starting to move along real nice thing. Well, the whole line is just... Okay. Just whoosh, right down. I nearly bawled and just you couldn't go nowhere. I love how quiet that scene was. Like, it was just mm-hmm. a nice shift. Calm down moment. a bit for everyone, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, what is it with this fan here? How come? You must be on the same switch with the lights. Oh, oh. my god. That was just terrible design. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Makes sense, though. Oh. That's a damn stupid thing to do. He could break it. <laughs> he just makes bad jokes and annoy people. Pretty mm-hmm. surprising, isn't it? He's me. Yes. You're <laughs> just trying to bait me. He did an excellent job. <laughs> mm-hmm. You don't fully understand the term reasonable doubt. They come over here running for a light. They're telling us how to run the show. <sighs> Couldn't remember the names of the movies or the, or the stars who appeared. In court, the boy was questioned by the detectives in the kitchen of his apartment. Oh. Wow. Where were you last night? Well, you're down on New Year's Eve, 1954. Let me know, huh? <laughs> My wife and I went to the movie. What did you see? The Scarlet Circle. The remarkable Mrs. Bainbridge. The amazing Mrs. Bainbridge. 
<laughs> and you weren't under an emotional stress, were you? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's oh. sweating. He's finally sweating. Wow, that's amazing. That is such a cool little that detail. They set that up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, say, could I see that knife a second, please? Top angry man with a knife on the table. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was this whole business about the stab wound and how it was made. Someone taller. Mm. Now, the boy was five feet, seven inches mm-hmm. tall. His father was six two. <laughs> I've watched a lot of The Good Wife. <laughs> I'll give you a demonstration. Somebody get up. <laughs> uh. They all thought that he was actually gonna. Cause he's the uh, yeah. This mm. is the way it was done. Now tell me I'm wrong. Boy, I hate these things. Everyone just using him as a test. How do you use a switchblade? <gasps> right, you, you put it up against the person and then flip it out, mm-hmm. right? Oh. Undiamond. You think he could have made the kind of wound that killed his father? No. I don't think you can determine what type of wound the boy might or might not have made. Huh. That makes sense, though. Yeah. See, I knew he was going to be the next one to turn because he's like yeah, fiddling yeah, around yeah. with a knife and he sees it now, too. I changed my vote to not guilty. Ooh. You what? He just wants to get out, though. He doesn't yeah, actually care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you the know, ad guy is going to change right. because he That's not that yeah. believes it. But this, yeah, you're right. This guy's just. Do it because you are convinced the man is not guilty and not because you were enough. Look, I don't have to. You do have to. I love that. It's not just about convincing the vote change. It the why matters. Mm-hmm. It matters so much okay, in this case. Another vote call. Okay. Wait, who is? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He kind of looks like Superman, a little bit with the glasses on and off. <laughs> well, the vote's nine to three in favor of acquittal. You saw this kid just like I did. Look, you know how these people lie. They don't need any real big reason to kill someone either. Wow, these people. Where are you going? Human life don't mean as much to them as it does to us. Wow. Yeah, they were just walking away from him. But there's some good things about them too. Look, I'm the first one to say that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're no good. There's not a one of them who's any good. These people are dangerous. God, I wish the internet yeah. arguments can be like this, where you can just leave the, the person feel the to isolation. Just, yeah. yeah. Now sit down and don't open your mouth again. <laughs> Then everyone comes back to the table once he's gone. Well, as soon Holy as he shit. leaves, he's sitting in like a kid's table almost, Holy it looks like, you know? Like, he's been punished at the little kid's table. Gambling on probabilities, we may be wrong. Can't understand how you three are still so sure. The evidence given by the woman across the street. That is, yeah. Mm-hmm. She said the lights went out immediately after the killing. All right, I'm changing my vote. Oh. oh. Someone before mentioned seven o'clock. You made a gesture that reminded me of something. Come on. I happen to be talking to the gentleman sitting next to you. <laughs> I love this guy. Is it because of your eyeglasses? Oh, does a woman yes. have bad eyesights? I've never worn eyeglasses. Twenty twenty. <laughs> Hate it when people rub that in your face. <laughs> the woman mm. was wearing glasses. And those same marks. He actually looks at people. Yeah, he really looks at them. Mm-hmm. I was the closest one to her. She had these uh, these things in the side of her nose. And if she was in bed, she wouldn't be wearing glasses. Yeah. So he, oh oh god, these characters are so f- good. Yeah. Do you wear glasses when you go to bed? <laughs> exactly. And this is before contact lenses, right? I think. <laughs> yeah, like, you should sleep in, in your contacts. That's true too, yeah. She probably didn't put her glasses on when she turned to look casually out of the window. As a train passes. I say she only saw a blur. Maybe she was <laughs> far-sighted. Woman's eyesight yeah. is in Ag- question now. Yes, agreed, 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 agreed. The woman might have made a mistake. No. Is it possible? Not guilty. Yeah. You think he's guilty? I'm convinced. But what about all the other evidence? You said we could throw out all the other evidence. <laughs> 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 I love it. They're so consistent, the characters, even yes. their flaws. Yes. Well, what do you want? I say he's guilty. I want to hear your arguments. We have as much time as it takes. He's giving you the time of day that you wouldn't give him at the beginning. It's yeah. Why don't you take that stuff about the old man? It's already been like poked. Yeah. Because about it's, the knife. It's... What? Because we found another one exactly like it. The knife falling through a hole in his pocket. And what about this business of the L? That's your five thousand dollars. I'd remember the movies I saw. This woman testified in open court. I'm telling you, I've got all the facts here. Oh. It's, yeah, it's about his own kid. Wow. Yeah, what's this? Say something. You lousy bunch of bleeding hearts. Yeah. Holy sh. Okay, there it is. Are they gonna there bring in an alternate or something? Not guilty. There we go. Oh 
Oh my god. Wow. I think this is now possibly top five of one of my favorite movies. This is an amazing movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. Our he was also just in all white too. The whole like mm. from the very beginning, he was the only one that's. I mean, aside from his tie, but yeah, yeah. Even just like the in a black and white movie, his <gasps> color scheme still. Mm -hmm. huh. Okay, <laughs> the music did confuse me <laughs> for a second. I was like, are they gonna reveal something sinister? What was that? <laughs> no, just a yeah. <laughs> oh my god yeah this is definitely one of the best movies i've ever seen i can't get over how amazing each character was i mean you said it perfectly yes. like each character was so consistent you're so right yes like, i've said this so many times before in past uh movies where like i i, com I always complain about movies who establish a logic for its world and then they don't keep to it yeah um so whether it's with its characters or with you know just the rules of the universe that they're in right mm -hmm. in this one it is so consistent that when the character like the shouty guy his downfall is himself yeah that's his consistency not just that he's angry or whatever he doesn't need other people to to be like aha gotcha right mm -hmm. he does it to himself it's amazing it's so consistent. Yeah. The prejudice guy, the old guy who eventually just sat at the kitty's table in the corner, the, his wording, the way he phrased things, even from the, the first time he opened his mouth, is very like, those people, them. Yeah, it was his own prejudice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's it stayed consistent as that. I've never seen such a small but powerful reveal as like the mm -hmm. sweat dripping on his face mm -hmm. the, of the guy who doesn't sweat. That was like, it's so tiny, but so powerful. Is mm -hmm. so and the fact awesome. that it only relied on one passive remark. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the, the moment that that remark took place between all the yelling and like, and I think just because his character was also the only one that was still keeping on his jacket even. And the way his character was, was so different from the others. Like every character was very different, right? But because of that, yeah. those little moments I feel like stand out more. Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. if he was another yelly guy, we it may not have had the impact. He was almost machine-like. Mm. I love the way additional information was dropped. Mm -hmm. For example, about the train. Because mm -hmm. that wasn't right off the beginning, right? At the beginning, they, the, the guy who like read out the, the bulletin points mm -hmm. of the facts were very, you know, short, right? It was like, uh, old man heard him yell, woman mm -hmm. saw the stabbing across the yeah. street, and that was it. And then we get dropped the information about the train. But the yeah. way I, I love that because it it felt natural to the conversation that all those people already know those same facts. Mm -hmm. Movies do this all the time where, um, like bad movies do all the time, where they're like a character tells another character things mm -hmm. that the other character already knows, but it's <laughs> yeah. for us, for oh our sake. God. And you're like, why are you saying this? Oh my like, God, I hate it so much. It's like, yeah. George, remember last week when we did this? Yes, yeah. Simone, I was there <laughs> like exactly <laughs> i hate it when movies do that but in this case that fact was dropped in in a way that makes sense to the yeah. scene it was just kind of part of the sentence that he said as opposed to shining a light on it and be like ah yeah okay that's a wrap on this episode of cinebinge thanks everyone for joining us we'd like to thank our patrons and shout yes. out to uh Rellis, uh, poddington uh pro jam nicodemus 944 nathan yasper nate proudy nate gavin my shark mr hopita movie dan mike adams michael ritter michael gone matthew s louis scriggly lenora mm -hmm. kenny slowing down the shout outs again <laughs> kenny uh jw fuzzy <laughs> justin singery john swan jody mcguffin stuff jamanta the 33a jason james lee and jacob archer 78 thank Ooh. you all very much thanks, everybody Bye.